This story was actually sent to my primary email. Apparently, I must be subscribed to something, and they sent me some um some notifications. It didn't come to the email that y'all are familiar with. It came to my regular email. And when I saw the title, I said I had to speak on it. So this boy in this picture, his name is Nassan Jones. And when he was in school last week, his teacher made a racially charged uh, mark, remark towards him. So basically what happened is he was working on a school project, like a class project, where he and the rest of his classmates had to draw a self-portrait of themselves, which, you know, is pretty much you drawing your own face. But Nassan had a problem catching out his nose. So he was trying to ask assistance from his teacher, and his teacher made the remark of, and I quote, that all black people have big noses. Now, who the fuck does this, I don't know if this is a man or a woman, think they are just coming up there and just making that very vague remark, like, what the hell did that have to do with him drawing out his nose? And then try to convince him that he needed to draw his nose very, very wide and everything like that. Let me go ahead and read this article so you can get a better understanding of what was going on. It's in the San Jones, a fourth grade student at West Middle Island Elementary School, said his art teacher recently made a racist remark to him in class. John Johnson, the teacher, okay, so it was a it was a man who did this, allegedly told him that black people have big noses. His grandmother's demanding for the teacher to be fired. Last Monday, Jones was in his art class doing a self-portrait activity when he had difficulty sketching his nose. He then asked the teacher for assistance, but instead gave a racist comment to him. He drew my nose really big, and I asked him, why did you draw my nose really big? And then he said, all African Americans have big noses. Well, first off, that's not entirely true. Yes, we are known for having broader noses, but not every black person has a very wide nose. Like, take my nose for um, instance. I have a broad nose, but it's, it isn't a wide nose, so to speak. But it is broad, but it's not narrow either, like I'm sure his art teacher's nose is is probably damn near on the scale of probably Pinocchio. Just elongated and just in, and very narrow. William said Johnson called her back the next day. I'm sorry, I'm skipping the whole paragraph. Roberta Williams, Jones' grandmother, was shocked when he was told when he told her what happened. When she called the school and told him about the incident, the acting principal told her she would talk to Johnson. William said Johnson called her back the next day, but she didn't get an apology that she was hoping for. <clears throat> he told her her grandson, quote unquote, misunderstood what he meant. I already knew that they wasn't going to um, tackle that. Williams replied, no, I don't think he misunderstood you at all. Williams wanted Johnson to be fired from his job. She said, we just want this teacher removed from the school. He shouldn't be teaching any kids. Jones, on the other hand, said he's afraid to go back in his art class because he doesn't know was going to happen. Meanwhile, the school superintendent issued a statement saying Longwood Central School District Central Administration is looking into the matter and trusts that any miscommunication or offense taken by the family from a staff member will be remedied through further communication. Now, this is the third incident that we've had that I've seen where you've had a black student deal with racism from either white peers or from somebody who is a teacher or some kind of administrator, some kind. Remember, one got suspended. The other one is like, you know, the one that was in Florida, you know, who was a part of that farmer's group, and they were saying racial stuff about him, and now you have this. See, they want, they are in a position now where they do not want to punish any of these uh, uh, white individuals in these schools for something like this unless they have the undeniable proof that they can do so. Meaning, it's almost like some of the students there, if they're black, they have to wear some kind of recording device of some sort or some kind of body camera to prove that they did this. But if the roles were reversed and this was a black arts teacher and uh, a white kid said, I'm having trouble drawing the nose, can you help me? And they said, well, white people usually have long, like usually have very narrow noses like a damn beak, then they'll have something to say, and then they will remove the person instantly, and then they'll probably say that it was racism or reverse racism or whatever it is that they could come up 
with at the top at the um at the drop of a hat. So it's a very huge double standard. But now it's starting to become so common that when you have kids uh, make the claims of racism being used against them, now they're not being believed. Unless they have quote unquote proof. Nowadays, it seems that a black kid's words doesn't mean shit. Apparently. Apparently, they're all lying. They're all making it up. Or in this case, they misunderstood. If I was her, then it's pretty if i was his grandmother it's pretty obvious they're not going to do anything to the teacher they're not they probably didn't even discuss it with them they probably was like they don't know what he's talking about let's just come up with some kind of excuse and just say oh here's one he misunderstood so but if i were her maybe just pull him out of the school and maybe find him somewhere else that he can go or just like Put him in another class. Is there another art teacher? Is that the only art teacher that said that the boy is scared to go back to the classroom because he's scared of what might happen because the teacher might try to retaliate against him or give him a failing grade because he quote unquote snitched on him or try to get him fired? Because you never know. These teachers nowadays, they will do the worst with their students if they feel that their student has threatened them because now you're threatening their income even with the teacher being at fault. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments about this story. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one. There was one last thing I wanted to add into this commentary that I should have added in, um, in the main part. But this is exactly how self-hatred amongst black people is in doctrine. You make an insult about their features and then you make them have self-hate about themselves to the point where they want to start altering things about themselves or they start speaking ill of their skin tone and things of that nature. And the easiest way to do it is when they're young and impressionable like this kid here. He's only eight years old. So, you know, if the teacher can convince him that his features are ugly without actually saying that they're ugly but speaking in subliminals, it's very easy to indoctrinate that into the mind and make him feel self-conscious about himself. Like I always say, mental enslavement was always more potent and powerful rather than the physical. The physical wounds can heal, but if they can mentally keep you in a state where you are having self-hate about yourself, then it's always going to stick there because you're always gonna try to look for perfection. You're gonna try to look for some kind of flaw in yourself. And a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of black people see a lot of flaws within themselves because we don't fit the standard of quote unquote American beauty, if you want to uh, put it into a uh, greater context. But to be honest, the ones like his art teacher who are make, who said stuff like that, they are the ones that have the self, uh, are really uh, self-conscious about themselves. They wish they could have broad noses or the many other features that black people are known for having that unfortunately many black people get crit uh, critiqued on. Remember, it was a time when uh, for women having a big butt was seen as unattractive and that you had to be um, real skinny in order to be seen as beautiful. But now everybody wants to be thick or have the big ass and everything like that. So it's amazing how all stuff comes full circle. And that's pretty much all I wanted to add on to this. Like, like, all, like I said, the teacher subliminally was trying to tell him that having a big nose was ugly, and he drew and he drew this elon this enormous nose on his portrait that most likely did not fit the frame of what he actually looks like. Now I'm done.